Hello and welcome to Oldie But A Goodie. It is the podcast, like many podcasts, that is a podcast. But the twist is that this podcast only exists to review movies from 1994 in the order the movies came out in. It's uh, it's one of the last weeks of May. Yes. And we're reviewing a movie that came out in one of the last weeks of May, back in 94. My name's Sandro. My voice is back. That's good. What's up, yes. Zach? Hello. I am here. I am ready to review this fantastic movie. This, this movie was not very movie. good. Uh, <laughs> this fantastic movie that brings me back to the Stone Age, quite literally, in its artistry mm. in its uh okay. you know cool movie yep. uh, features and its uh, lifestyle yeah and treatment of other people it's true so yeah uh we've good. got someone else in the room today in fact we're at his house because why not it's yep. rob lloyd how's it coming it is an absolute pleasure to be here um to be reviewing a film that i was actually i'm i'm actually old <laughs> enough to have seen it in the cinemas when I was in high school. Were, were, uh. were you born in the Stone Age? Yeah, what, pretty it? much. Pretty much. A lot of my students when I'm teaching <laughs> in high school think that as well. So um, it's not my um, it's not my choice year of best year of cinema. <laughs> it's, it's definitely it's definitely not. Been it's nice. definitely not a table wine year. <laughs> It's more like a, yeah, it's more like a goon cask year. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, it's a goon cask. Yeah, year. My, my French champagne year of cinema is the year nineteen eighty nine. That's a good um, year. Yeah, yeah. nineteen ninety four is definitely you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, your no. cask of goon that uh, you just, yeah. oh, you've yeah. drunk it all out. Now you've inflated it into a shiny silver <laughs> yeah. balloon and knocked and it Jim around. Jim Carrey's like, playing it with <laughs> yeah, with, with whatever over the top ham acting he can, and people just yes. lapping it up. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. it's great. Mm. Uh, now, Rob, you are, of course, well known in the Melbourne uh, improvisational and nerdy comedy scene. I am. I have been. Uh, uh, I've been uh, trading my wares around Melbourne uh, since two thousand. Mm. This is my twentieth year of comedy in Melbourne. So, oh, um, so what better way to to feel old yep. is to go back to, uh, as you say, not only the Stone Age <laughs> but nineteen fifties values Woo! and mentality. Yep. Yeah, this film was dated when it came out. And it's it's it's, am, it's amazing how much a film set in the Stone Age yeah. could be so dated in every <laughs> single way <laughs> and to be completely offensive. Not nostalgically, yep. no. oh, that's beautiful to go, ooh, yeah. ooh, there is so much that's ooh about this it's right now. It's funny because I felt that over, not last week's, but like the weeks before, whatever we did then. Can't remember, it's been two weeks. <laughs> um, the Brendan Fraser one? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I was getting heavy vibes of that. I didn't feel that at all this week. I, Interesting. Well, actually, no, I did feel that in a lot of different places. But I didn't feel it, like, super heavily. I was too busy just enjoying the whole aspect. Show us on the doll where you felt it. <laughs> yes. Show us on uh, the doll. Right you... here. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh, he's pointing to his heart. Yeah. Yes. His heart, his heart. Um, but, yeah, no. Uh, I enjoyed this movie wow. far more than I should have. Wow. I, I, yeah. In we'll a not ironic it. way? Or? In, an, in a un. Unfortunately, non-ironic way, <laughs> and in in in, a, me. in in both spectrums, in the very ironic and the non-ironic at all. Okay. Um, Interesting. Uh, well, we had two other choices for films to review this week. Mm. Uh, well, let's see, Rob, if you've seen any of them. Beverly Hills Cop Three. <laughs> I haven't seen Beverly Hills Cop 3. I've seen okay. 1 and 2, yeah. but I haven't seen 3. I know it's set in an amusement park. Okay. That's the mm. one I haven't seen. Okay. Um, and what's the other one that came out? A Little Buddha. It's about... <laughs> Is that with Keanu Reeves? Yes. <laughs> yes. I didn't see that either. Because <laughs> um, there's only... Uh, I forgive you for this one. But yeah, there's only one Keanu Reeves film for me. Oh, well, yeah. two Keanu Reeves films for me, and that's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. But Ooh, apparently yes. I've been told to watch the John Wick films. They're good. Yeah. Apparently, oh, apparently yeah. good. We're doing Speed in a couple weeks, so that one's also nice. Pretty Speed's good. a good one, yeah. So. And the first Matrix is good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I used to have this, yeah, but he, yeah, he ruined things so much with um with Dracula. But oh, he yeah. actually is quite good. He was just missed. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's wonderful. He's wonderful. To t- like we have him on interviews yeah. and stuff like that. He's a he's a he's oh a, yeah he's, he's great. A good soul. He's a fantastic yeah. guy. I want to yeah. hear about stories about him. You know, like he, you know, what he does with his money and how he lives. You know, a, a certain lifestyle to yeah, good on like, you. yeah. Mm. Good on yeah. you, bud. Sweet. Yes. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're doing the Flintstones released May seventh in ninety four. It's also known as the Flintstones movie or the Flintstones, the live action movie. Hey, both go. great titles. I love when they add live action. That's when I know the film's going to be good. Yeah, well, I was ra- 
praised on a lot of the uh, the telly movies they did in, of the cartoon Ooh. back in the day, especially mm. the Christmas Flintstones movies. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Yeah, where there was Christmas in China, and there nice. was Christmas in all these other areas that don't celebrate. But, you know, yeah. that's just American imperialism taking over. Well, it. yeah. is it? Don't they make a joke or something where, like, Christ <clears throat> hasn't even been born for thousands, millions of years yet, so um, why are we celebrating Christmas? I'm not aware of that, because I wasn't aware that there were any jokes in this film. So. <laughs> no, <laughs> hey. I don't know. Oh, I, I, <laughs> or maybe, maybe I just heard a joke about that. Like, uh, oh, yeah. This film was directed by a guy called Brian Levant. He also did the prequel to this film in the year 2000. Yeah. On top of that, he did the original Beethoven movie in 92. Right, okay. Um, mm-hmm. A bunch of live-action Scooby-Doo TV films. Yeah. yeah. So not, not all the movies. Oh, yeah, that's with, the, Sarah, with the Buffy the and, um, and yeah. Freddie Prinze. Uh, and most stuff. recently, he's returned to the It's a Dog, Look at the Dog Doing Dog Thing style of filmmaking with a film called Max 2, White House Hero. Right, okay. It's it's, it's about a dog that works for the Secret Service and goes to the White House. That's that's just a collection of words you've thrown together as a title. It exists. They've got a hat. Fishbowl Incubator 7 now. Okay. (laughs) Alright, alright. We can do this. this. Alright, pick out five words. Uh, Yes, this is the movie title. Take it. Put a number in there as well. Yeah, perfect. Uh, The writing team haven't done that much but one of them also wrote Beverly Hills Cop 3. Hey! hey all right, right. Here you go. Circle of life. All comes yeah. back around. Uh, we'll quickly go through the cast. We've got John Goodman as Fred Flintstone. Look, it's a Love stellar him. cast. I will not... Yeah. I will not... I will... I will say this. The cast is stellar. Mm. You've got yeah. John Goodman. Yeah, you got uh, Elizabeth Perkins Who is Wilma. amazing and done incredible yeah. things most recently in Weeds. Yeah. Um, mm. uh, the great... Rick Moranis. Yes. Yeah, yeah. As Barney. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's always good to see him in just anything. Yep. Yeah, he's yeah. great. I love him. And Rosie O'Donnell as Betty. Oh, okay with Rosie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. great. Uh, Kyle McLaughlin. Oh, he stole my beating loins. Cliff, the yeah. villain. Yeah, uh, I think oh, yeah. The, the only original character in the film. Oh, and um, Halle Berry's character. Yeah, and the second character. character original? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 I the think they're originally going to call her Sharon Stone. I think they do call her Sharon Stone. Do they actually Stone. call her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But the, do you actually hear it in the movie or is it I just like they call once. her Miss Stone? Right, right. There was a nut. I think they definitely mentioned it at least once because I wrote it down. Yeah. Okay. And then I went, hang on, that name sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, that's worst right. film of the year. That's the one from Intersection. Yeah. From, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's nice. also the final ever movie performance from Elizabeth Taylor. That's right. Uh, she yes. plays the mother in law. Mm-hmm. She's, she's fine. She's fine. Yeah. It's yeah. one scene I where they just leave her tied up for two minutes and that's the joke. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, that's yeah, no. <laughs> uh, the classic, you know, oh, mother-in-law, boy, I hate you. Yeah. Oh, you hate me. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, women, am I right? Oh, Comedy. Oh, Woo! <laughs> Kill me now. Gotta love it. Uh, the reception for this film, very low. 22% on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm. Um, I quickly skimmed through them. A lot of the reviewers were just saying the plot is... Not good for kids, mm. and the humor is not good for adults. No, so, who is this film? For? It's a little bit adult Wait. in parts. Like there's some parts yeah, where, yeah, like, yeah, like Halle Berry is fully sexifying everything she yeah. does. Yes, that's true. I I did notice this, especially with like the hanging. At that point, I was like, "Well, that's a bit brutal for a kids movie. Yeah, They're yeah, gonna yeah. get a lynch mob to yeah, hang him. Like, All really right. full on. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even think about. It. Yeah, and I don't want to have a go at child actors, but. The poor child who plays um, Bam, Bam, Bam Bam just looks I like. I think you mean in, Bam Bam Bam. Bam Bam his Bam. Full sorry, name. his full yeah. name um, <laughs> uh, is in a constant state, looking like he's either constipated, yep. is squinting uh, because of there's too much sun, or just doesn't. Oh, want but Sandra, that's really unusual because most child actors that we've encountered have been great. <laughs> <so far. laughs> They've all been so good. <laughs> Nineteen ninety four is a stellar year for child <laughs> yeah. actors. Yeah. Oh boy, woof! Uh, is it now? Uh, now, the film somehow made a lot of money. It um, made a bucket load of money, you were just saying. So, it cost 46 to make. It made $342 million. Jeez. That is That is insane. insane. But um, I remember at the time, there was a lot of press about it. Even, okay. Like, this is before the internet, and this is before, like, social media and all this type of stuff. Mm-hmm. But I remember the hype for this was built up like almost a year before it came out so I remember there were rumours about they're making the Flintstones into live action they've Mm. got Spielberg presenting it they've Mm. got you know big news was Elizabeth Taylor doing her first acting in like 
uh, 3,000 years. Yeah. <laughs> 3 so, million years. Yeah, 3 million years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so it was, a, it was a big deal. There was a lot of press leading mm. up to it. So um, I think it opened on a four-day weekend as well. So right. it's just really ah, good. Good yeah. timing. Yeah. Time for it to come out and everything. So anyway, that's Killed the information it. about the film. Is that the most that a movie's made so far that was um, reviewed? I think, yeah. yeah Ace Ventura made a lot, but I don't think it cracked two hundred million. Well, that's yeah. the thing. You're now getting into the summer area, so what? This, yeah. So what's coming up next is like the big blockbusters. I mean, yeah. Were there yeah. any other big blockbusters in the summer of '94? None have opened up so far. Yeah. A lot of them yeah. are coming in like the next few weeks, though. And what's coming so, up? Are you allowed to say? Or? The Lion King. Yeah. Lion King. Right. Lion King. And that very one obviously for. just takes everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Literally, yeah. Uh, and that nothing else matters all right well let's go through the film it does seem like an extended episode of yeah, yeah. yeah it just stretched out to 90 minutes so basically which i liked you like that yeah okay. i liked that maybe i shouldn't have but i it reminded me of watching the episode yes i guess a lot of my like for this movie is it gives me a lot of nostalgia right now yeah, yeah, okay yeah. and that's why i like it so i liked the whole start of that the start of that was very weird the start they, of the film because they start yeah. off the film they have like five minutes of the film and then it does the intro yes yes, yes. because um, uh, not to jump too forward but it is revealed that they are watching the movie at a cinema the yes. film ends it's like the Flintstones well, it also the end the and then the real life Flintstone family drives home yes and it opens with them going to the, the cinema as well but before that we see Kyle MacLachlan and, and Halle, Halle Berry talking and yeah. plotting about we yeah. need to find someone who you know who could be you know dumb enough to be yeah I love them I got, a, I got a great quote here so does that Tom mean Mark's does that mean that the Flintstones are late to the cinemas or that just art is almost exactly imitating what's going on in this world mm. so are we going the, is it one of the first you know, mainstream examples of meta references back upon itself. So Maybe. The, yes. You know, the Muppet movie did that it That is in exactly the credit I am giving this. <laughs> I, why am I not surprised that you would give it that credit? Yeah, okay. So what's the, what's the sure. quote? Uh, I'll look at those pathetic worms, which uh, was yeah. a great beginning line for the film. It yeah, really yeah. set the tone for me. That's a great opening line. And yeah, then it yeah. goes into that live action homage of the opening credits. Yeah. yeah. And that's where it gets really weird for me. Mm. When it's like yeah. that that live action imitating animation and it's just never as good and like the moment where oh, he jumps yeah, up in no. the air for long oh, oh no I love that yeah, and I love that so much no. and, so... and John Goodman does so well of landing and trying to not look like he's collapsing <laughs> yeah. because of the, the weight the of harness, the harness yeah. and stuff I'm no like, but that that's the ironic I love that so much right. that was okay. like the I, that's so bad I love it yeah, that was okay. a so bad I love it not so bad I love it, but I actually genuinely loved it, was the whole aesthetic, mm -hmm. the props and other things, which I know Sandro didn't like it. No, all. I thought it looked just rubbery and bad. The only thing that works for me are uh, the dinosaurs. The puppetry is amazing. Yeah, the puppetry it's really, really good. good. And I'm, th I'm not sure. I think it might have been... The Henson Workshop. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah I have to That's what I really there. loved is the puppetry. The puppetry is great, and there's. Mm. Um, I mean, Dick the, Dick the Bird has a little bit of stiltedness and a bit of dead eyes, but there's yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. there's a life to especially some of the bigger um, yeah, dinosaurs like the, and like the, the woolly the, mammoth. Is the mammoth with the mm. sink faucet or whatever. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so great. that type of stuff is really. I cool. love that. That as a child, I personally love. Yeah, yeah, I love that so much. I was like, "Oh my god, that's so cool!" The Brontosaurus is like a little lawnmower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. got the yeah. Oh, I love that as a child. <laughs> that that fueled my imagination. Mm. And seeing it again, seeing this movie again in the live action, that reminded me of that. I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah." yeah. Uh, and also the general aspect, I. I know you didn't like the props and everything because it looked rubbery and cartoony, but I love that. I was like, <laughs> okay. hey, that looks just like the cartoon and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. tried to make it look as much like the cartoon as possible, which I, I so. appreciated. Yeah. Mm, I liked that sort of aesthetic. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I didn't like Dino, though, talking about the dinosaurs. There were moments like, I think it was a mix of CGI and a bit of oh, live action. Yeah, the... But sometimes when he's running away, you can see it's clearly... CGI to the yeah, end of the day. The yeah. C oh yeah, no, I didn't like the CGI. The CGI was I love the puppetry, hate the CGI. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's still that transition area era. Yeah, of, it's um, so obvious mm. looking back on it. I'm sure back in the day it was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. 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 But there are some was. films that blend it quite well, like you look at Jurassic like Park. Like the mummy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
like the mummy scorpion king very specific oh, uh, yeah 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 no <laughs> don't that animatronic uh, character that we now call the rock oh it's almost oh, believable it's in so his acting um, but hasn't that puppet gone on to do some great things <laughs> yeah no. um, oh but the CGI in that movie Ooh, yeah yeah anyway, sorry um, so yeah so the story is uh, Fred gives all these savings to Barney so that they can adopt a kid. Which and so Wilmer is totally fine with. Totally fine with. When she finds out. When she finds out, you go, you've <laughs> yeah. given away all our money. Oh, but you, you've got a good heart. Yeah. And yeah. then um, the, pl- the plot of Kyle MacLachlan's character is to find someone to be their stooge who's like, yeah. signs everything away and he'll take the fall for oh, the yeah, money embezzling this. scheme. <laughs> and so while they, they look for someone to be an executive mm. uh, vice president type thing yeah so they have a test and they all go for it because fred wants to better himself because he's um Mm. been at the same job yeah gets no respect from his mother-in-law wow Um, Uh, and so he goes for do the test mm. and barney collects all the papers and when he he realizes that he vowed Mm. to do something to help his friend out he swaps the papers because barney's smart yeah and so fred gets the promotion yeah now this is where i have a problem because they're looking to blame they're looking to put all the stuff on so wouldn't they want to get like the dumbest person yeah yeah this, the plan, this plan has been done before but smartly where they've gotten the dumb person in this case they just lucked out to hire the the smart person which just happens to be the dumbest person yeah I'm, i don't want to find plot holes <laughs> okay so basically if they had hired the smartest person we've been uh, Barney would yeah. Barney have done these things because they really wanted to dump no person. I don't yeah. think Barney would have just immediately mm. read what he was yeah. doing and be like although well, that's the not. running theme for this film and for pretty much every family friendly film we've done, done mm. this year is greed and money corrupt everyone so maybe yeah. he would have yeah greed but... corruption and modernization yeah is mm. bad what we need to do is stay with old fashioned values old fashioned lifestyles old exactly. fashioned views of yep. people and, um, mm, and you know, the oncoming storm of the future, which is to but be... But hey, they yeah. make concrete. We don't yes. need to look ahead to the future. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, gross. Yeah. Um, Thankfully, we've moved on as a society since then, and now in elections, we vote <laughs> for preservation of the future, mm. not the sustaining of what yes. is happening now in the past. So I, I, I have an idea of what would have happened, but it is my <laughs> sequel. Yes. Is an alternative universe where... <laughs> He doesn't switch them out. Is yeah. It, is it the darkest timeline? Yes, correct. Yes. Good, 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 good. And yeah, everyone's yeah. got yeah, evil. Oh no! Goodies. All my sequels have been the darkest <laughs> timeline, and they've all got evil goatees. Mm. Yeah, yeah, of course. For, um, you know, uh, for for a prehistoric era film, there's a lot of clean shaven people in this. It's true. Yeah, and, and you know, no, no but tan you see, lines or anything. There's like. a very active. He gets like the little mole yeah, thing yeah, to yeah, nung yeah, nung yeah. nung on his yeah. thing. So yeah. there's there's a very it's like thoroughly. It's yeah. all researched. Yeah, yeah. So then he gets the promotion and then yes. it's a case about yeah money does corrupt yeah and yeah your values will yeah get warped by your money and power and influence yeah, yeah. Uh, and also Halle Berry every time she shows up into his office because yes Fred Flintstone has an office because he's like what a junior vice president yes or something. Yeah. a massive room massive yeah, room. It's, that's bigger it's than real. his house yeah. yeah it's crazy and every time Halle Berry sh- shows up a cute nineties jazz. Yes, so much nineties <laughs> jazz. Oh it's, it, it's just constantly. Just I was there. trying to spot Kenny G somewhere, and Kenny yes. G had to be somewhere. But of course, you know, uh, mm-hmm. Fred starts actually treating her like an intel. Well, it says that she has brains. Yeah, mm. and she takes that to heart and goes, "You know what? Yeah, a man has told me I have brains. Maybe oh, I'll believe him. I do have value after all, because yes. a man told me. Yes, um, thanks, uh, men. But yep. um, yeah, her yes. character arc is. Great. Yeah, okay, that, that so I didn't good. like. All of that, I was like, eh, <laughs> no thank you. Mm, no thanks. There is a, a dicta bird in his office. Yeah. And very well voiced by um, uh, Harvey Corman, mm. from uh, those of you who are as old as me or older will remember his excellent work in The Carol Burnett Show. Mm. You know, he did a couple of Disney films mm. like uh, Herbie Goes Bananas and stuff like that. Very good. Uh, mm. Comedian, and his voice work is incredible, and this really brings life to some of the yeah. stilted puppets. Yeah. I'm kind of annoyed at the fact that they didn't have more of him. Obviously, they wanted to focus more on like 
Fred being the hero, to, but he's actually the hero. Yeah, so yeah. It's, yeah. It's all dictaphone Dick, and Dick, Dick the Bird's there, you know, saying, uh, you know, trying to talk some sense yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About read your read the things before you sign them and all this type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, Fred Flintstone's just like, nah, shut up, you. You're, you're just a bird. You're, you're just, just an appliance. Bird. If so, I wanted to ask the appliances I'd, uh, for advice, I'd ask. Uh, Ask the water, the water cooler, cooler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. which was probably an animal as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a uh, great line. Yes. Uh, uh, the the bosses ask Fred to fire Barney, mm-hmm. and he does it at a party for him. And for, yeah, so <laughs> Barney by throws Fred. a party for Fred, and then at the party, Fred fires Barney, and Barney's Ooh. just cool with it. He's like, "Yeah, I guess we'll go find another Barney, girl. Whatever. coolest friend, by coolest the way. friend ever. He's good." Yeah. And he's kind of tantrumy in that Fred. I don't remember. Was he that tantrumy in the cartoons? He's like, no. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. I've got to fire you. Man. He's not tantrumy, but he does like complain a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, yeah. it's less tantrumy, more like, oh no. Yeah. Sort of it thing. It feels like this version of Fred is heavily inspired by Homer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this yeah. film. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, this was the height of The Simpsons. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. The, I, you know, I didn't Bart think Bartman had just that. come out and everybody do the Bartman and all that stuff type of stuff yeah no that makes sense mm. i actually see that now yeah. yeah uh so fred he signs a bunch of things to fire all the workers meanwhile the by rebels, accident yeah of course by yeah. accident because he's you know meanwhile, oh it's gonna give them but... a vacation yay <laughs> sign all this wah, wah. he's kind of unlikable in this he, I, re- he, I remember him being very endearing in the show but well it is i mean when the flintstones came out it was a direct uh tribute parody slash stealing mm-hmm. Of the Honeymooners, which was um, mm. uh, Jackie Gleason's most popular show at the time, it was the, the mm. biggest show ever. It was you know, uh, Ralph Cramden was the lead character, and he had you know his friend and yeah. him and his wife. Mm. It was that that type of format, and Jackie Gleason almost sued Hanna Barbera for stealing the exact same concept of um, the Honeymooners his show. But then he he was quoted as saying. I don't want to be the guy that sued a cartoon show. Right? <laughs> okay, let, yeah, him, let them have their fun. Yeah. Um, I remember Fred being a, you know big and bold and brash and mm. stuff like that, yeah. but I didn't... Ex- because they it's gone for... It's an hour and a half film. They go into the deeper thing about Fred wanting to better himself and he's sacrificing his friends, so he has yeah. to have that arc. Yeah. But the, the interplay between him and Barney doesn't come across as jovial. It comes across as mean. Oh, yeah. Like, mm. like it's not funny at all. It's just me. I, I, I don't know. So, I liked it. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm just being. You know, I don't think the dialogue was good. Hey, but you, I enjoyed it. Hey, you're a dummy. Hey, you're a big fat fuck. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah. Wow. This is so. This is so endearing. Oh, they're so. Endearing. I'd watch that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Later on, it gets more vicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, but I think that's supposed to be his like greed arc where yeah. he's turning more greedy. Yeah. Yeah, so the Robbles, they move over to the Flintstones' house and then that is where things start to get pretty vicious. Yeah. Fred starts spending all the money. I've got a list of things he buys. So he buys a sports car. He does buy a sports car. Yes, that's great. Love that. He gets some fancy clothes in that they're just black and white versions of the stuff he usually wears. He does go very bling, doesn't he? (laughs) Yeah, no. I loved these scenes, by the way. (laughs) He goes in with this crappy car, brings out this cool sports car, but it's still like... A crappy, crappy yeah. Stone Age car, uh, and then get the Stone Age bling. Oh, yeah. yeah, they get a new pig, a new garbage disposal. Yeah, pig. I, yeah no, I felt bad for the old pig. Oh, we see him later in like a homeless, yeah, yeah. Yeah. homeless Shel- shelter, and I'm like, oh, that poor pig. That is really, really. Hard. He was they, he was being fed forks and other know, things. Right? It's not yeah. his yeah. fault. And he had his, like, had John Goodman's hand down his throat. Yeah, yeah, constantly. They like, got another job. level on their house. Yeah. They do. Oh, they got a boat, I think. They got a boat. There's a like satellite some personal dish. trainers show up. <laughs> yeah, personal trainer just <laughs> rocks up to Oh, check yeah, no, the very fit, very yeah, yeah. handsome. Um, they get a satellite dish for the new TV. <laughs> that yeah. was like a, they yeah. did the ding for the top of the house and suddenly this is Hecate's alright and then another ding for this little satellite dish nice respect it was great they put like um, uh, 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 beans on uh, like uh, oh yeah like beans diamonds, on the elephant beans on the, on the mammoth yeah, 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 yeah. oh that was I, I saw that I was like why what yep. does that achieve uh, 
Your sink now has bling on it. And all the furniture inside is like modernized, but it's like modern 1960s <laughs> stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. Great. It's all like curves so, and, so and like, you know, like Jetson's design. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Silly. Like Jetson's. Anyway, and then they decide, we'll go out dancing. Oh, <laughs> you're working yeah. as a busboy? Yeah. Oh, the worst thing ever. The w- um, the lowest, the, the lowest low. of the low. The lowest of the low. How much low could he get? Yeah, yeah so, no. I think there's a scene where, yeah, like Barney shows up at the table. A friend's like, sit down. And he's like, hey, I'm working here. I'm working <laughs> here. Come <laughs> on. It just comes out of nowhere. If he, if he actually said, it's a living, yeah. I'd be a lot happier. Yeah, no. As uh, every animal did in every <laughs> yeah. episode of the cartoon yeah. series. But never in this yeah, film. Yeah, no. So Barney's working. He sees on the TV that... It turns out Fred's fired the entire crew at the That's mine. That's right. And yeah. then Barney's like, oh, Why you know, you I was the one who actually got the good test. I swapped him out. And Fred's like, no, you didn't. Why would they want someone like you? You got fired. And then yeah. Barney's like, oh, well, I've got to leave. But hang on, Betty. I forgot to punch out. And he punches Fred. Oh, yeah. That was a good pun, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That was we're, terrible. We're just, we're just grabbing for anything that could be remotely... <laughs> there was better ones than that. That one I thought was pretty bad. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. I yay. think Wilma immediately leaves Fred after that as well. Yes. Yeah, no. She, she goes but she's there. on his side for that whole interaction where they're like, are you calling my husband a liar? Whatever. Yeah. That stuff. And they, the families are fighting. And then cut to next scene where she's like, no, we should get back together. Let's not fight. Why are we doing this? Yeah. Um, because there was heating words, obviously. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, and then Fred's like, "Guess I'll go back to work." And then he finds out the the bad guys are using his name to embezzle stuff, and he's like, "Which has been oh, said no. by Dick the Bird this entire yeah. time." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why the bird's the hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love how uh, uh, Wilma finds out because she's there watching the TV. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a dramatic uh, dramatization of the office that Fred works at being like, yes, I'm embezzling money. Ha ha ha. I'm good. I'm going to run away. <laughs> and she's like, I know what to do. Yeah. I'll get the bird to tell me what happened. That bird knows everything. <laughs> mm. hero. Just, the plot is just like, it's just so... It's look, what it, is it? yeah, like I'm saying, it's a, it's, 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 it's a, an extended episode of a TV, yeah, you know, of, of the TV series, just mm. going, let's spread it out over ninety minutes, and just yeah. have, it doesn't have enough legs to last that long. Yeah, no, I certainly have to agree mm. with that. Like yeah. the plot could have been better. So she sneaks into the workplace with Betty because yeah. they are friends now, even though that never happened on screen. No, they just make up. Yep, yeah. and they, yeah, well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> great explanation. <laughs> Look, um, defending this film, uh, you know, they're great friends. You'd be great. Uh, you'd be a great pitch man <laughs> to go into a <laughs> movie studio. So, what? How are they friends? <laughs> yeah. 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 No, 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 Explain no, it. Well, wow. Here's five million see, dollars. The the women have this connection when they're in the kitchen, you oh, know, oh. bonding with their their chit chat. But, but she did connection. get annoyed when Betty chopped her lettuce a bit too ferociously, <laughs> yeah. and a bit well, flew up in Wilma's face. Yeah, there was a bit of tension there, I but know. their but their friendship was stronger than <laughs> yeah. that. They have this great womanly uh, oh my god, woman power. <laughs> uh, woman power. I yeah. forgot. Only... I forgot about the whole kitchen thing. Yeah, the kitchen yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just so annoyed. She cuts lettuce and it flies up in my face. We need to end this right now. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Anyway, so yes. Uh, yeah, th- th- they kidnap the bird apparently. Of course. Yeah. Um, as you do. The bird is very unwilling. And yeah. all this, the next shenanigans that go on, the bird is like, what the hell? You just... I was just doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, this is my perspective on the bird. Because yeah. it gets literally kidnapped. Yep. yep. Uh, and then forced to tell everyone... The, the truth yeah. yeah it needs to be represented better in yeah. Film, yeah I believe um, I think this is when Halle Berry turns to the good side oh, of course because of course she does because yeah. yeah. she was treated like a person <laughs> treated like a yeah. person by a man yep yep, yep. yep. and Fred attracts a, a big crowd of angry people and they're people like be fired and they're like we'll hang you the, the and, story is very well connected yeah, yeah. you yeah. have to see these the nuances yeah, yeah. if you're <laughs> yeah, not seeing nuances, it it's your yes. fault not the films um, uh, did the episode where this happens to Homer come out before this 94 mm. oh. the angry mob are chasing him and Bart through oh that um, that episode would have been before this yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, then it was go. like about season 
What are you trying to three. imply, Sam? Just, uh, just uh, saying. The integrity of this film is not Which quite... has made me glad that they never will make a live action Simpsons because yeah. the, char- oh, the no. characters would just not work as Oh, humans. God. No, it wouldn't. No. Although no, John it just Goodman wouldn't work. <laughs> John, no. Have you seen John Goodman now? No, he could play Abe Simpson. Yeah. 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 Mm, good Lord. I love you, though, John. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so they're about to hang Fred and Barney shows up selling ice cream and they're like, oh, I guess we'll hang him as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I love this. <laughs> ice cream? Get out of there. <laughs> yeah, no. No, because they're like, uh, in this movie, the crowd like pauses to let them have their dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their yeah. long ass dialogue. The whole crowd like moves out of the way so they can have this dialogue between this guy and they're like, wait a minute, you're the friend of this guy. Guess we'll hang you as well. Yeah. Um, it's great. And um, they have this long ass dialogue where they become long. best friends again. again. Well, not really, because Fred never... I guess he sort of apologizes, but it's like no, he doesn't apologize, but they become best friends. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. There isn't, you know, you need your characters to change, and Fred doesn't change enough in this film no. for me to no. actually, you know, care anymore. No, and then of they course, nearly get hanged, but just in the last yeah. minute. Mm-hmm. Yep, which has never been done before. Just never, in the last minute. never in cinema history. No, no uh, they swoop in with the bird, and the bird has all the recordings of the that's story. Right. Yeah, so, oh, but first Fred has to apologize. To this the is the bird. one time Fred the bird shows for up. Something. The bird shows up and says, "I may eat bugs, but I have feelings, and you hurt them." <laughs> <laughs> which is great. And that is uh, Harvey Korman at his best. He deserved yeah. he deserved an Oscar nomination for that. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. The Oscars? Imagine see imagine yeah, see that. Golden. That would be great. That would be hey, funny. I, I want to know who was nominated in 95 but you're there going kind of like, you know, and you've got um, uh, Tommy Lee Jones for The Fugitive. Hey, yeah. You've got um, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio for yeah, What's yeah, Eating Gilbert Grape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harvey Corman <laughs> for Dick the Bird. Hey, what? 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 <laughs> he's, what? He's even in the audience going, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know I was nominated for this. All these white guys are on drugs, all right? Yeah. <laughs> it's it the great. 90s. They're still hung up. Uh, <laughs> so then he grudgingly, very grudgingly apologizes. Because yeah, men it. can't apologize. That's no. showing weakness. Yep, exactly. Mm. Um, Although he did cry at the start of the film. Yes, he mm. cried between his two friends. Yeah, but that, but that was like a bro- bromance. Is okay. Yeah. Bromance. Yeah. Is okay. That was a bromance. bromance. Tears are okay. Yeah, that's not yeah. any other tears. Not okay. No, bromance tears are yeah. okay. And drinking out of a giant beer barrel. Yeah, that was kind of a bit, <laughs> yes. that was a kind of a bit. Crazy. That didn't seem sanitary. That's kind of a bit weird. <laughs> that's not sanitary. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're the not Flint's... wearing any shoes. <laughs> so this, much dirt. Yes, but I think in the Flintstones universe, it is shockingly sanitary. That shockingly is my... sanitary. Yeah, okay. like this shouldn't be this sanitary. You of live all in the, the logic plot the... holes, <laughs> yes. that's one that can be resolved. That's fair. I, I don't yeah. even know why I questioned it. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, Except when he steps on a. Nail. Yeah, exactly. like a rusty. That's nail. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that seems pretty bad. But anyway, passing. Moving on from that. Otherwise, their yeah. hygiene's great. Um. So <laughs> Kyle McLaughlin stolen the two kids because of course also, he has. they have nails in this universe. They do have nails. Sorry, they, they, they have right. metal in it. No, 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 no. Back to back to this. Sorry. <laughs> and they want to move them to the steam age. Can I just? Can I? Yes. Just, oh yeah. That's they right. go straight from rock age <laughs> to steam, steam age. age they skip yeah. bronze yeah. and all the other ones yeah. yeah so they go straight to steam sorry yeah see that's so. why he was a baddie because he just he jumped he ahead did not, it ju- it jumped ahead yeah that's damn you Carl McLaughlin and your yeah. gorgeously perfect symmetrical chin oh yeah it's um, clearly evil it's, it's evil oh, yeah. it's black magic what was this so they're at the steam powered setup, and they're like if you give me the bird I'll give you the kids so they mm. give Carl McLaughlin the bird and the bird's like, I should have signed up with Disney or else this wouldn't <laughs> oh, have that was a great line. He's so good in this film. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. No, no, no. It, it, it makes sense. I love that line. It's a good That's line. That's probably my favourite line. It doesn't need to make film. sense if it's a good line. <laughs> yeah, it's a great That's line. That's fair. And, and that was the problem with 94, Rob. Yeah. Mm. Things don't have to make sense to make a good line. No, exactly. That, that was the problem with this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just went, let's just put a good line in. It doesn't yeah. make any sense. Just put it mm. in there. They found a golden nugget. You're putting it mm, in that. We're putting movie. it in there. We're putting it in there. We've got nothing else to put there. Yeah. So. 
And what happens to the bird? Does the bird... So what happens is then the bad guy runs off with the bird after activating the big machine to yeah. kill the kids, whatever. Uh, and then he like tries to cover its mouth because it's talking too much because yes. it's a recording bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It then bites him, he drops it, and then there's a... Bam, 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 but they don't actually play the Benny Hill. But... That would be pretty funny if they did that. No, yeah, no that, would have, that would have only improved the movie at that point. Um, but then he runs after that. Um, so then they defeat the big machine. Yeah, Fred he uses the machine to destroy itself, and Barney rescues Which is the a kids. Call back to earlier when he uh, accidentally destroyed the model. That's right. Yeah. He 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 can then use this knowledge that he's gained earlier to defeat this evil machinery See, <laughs> that is bringing the future. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, he is a smart guy after all, uh, or accidentally smart. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, um, it causes a landslide of mixed stone and water mm. and powdered stuff, and it makes this this grey substance that can be used oh, as a building course. material. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. And it falls but, all over Kyle McLaughlin. Yes. Oh, that's yes. right. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> that's right. They kill Kyle McLaughlin. <laughs> yes. Back they turn into a cement statue, don't they? <laughs> yep. Yes. Oh my god. I <laughs> That's this right. G-rated film. <laughs> this is G-rated. Yeah, Halle Berry's being incredibly sexy and inappropriate in this film, and yeah. and yeah, yeah and they, they, they kill Carl McLaughlin. Yes. Oh, he no, but he gets hoisted by his own petard because oh, of, of the broken machinery creates mm, this. That's right. Which, so listen, kids. Yeah. Let this be a lesson to you. Yeah. Don't ever modernize or think of progress. Otherwise, because... you'll be encased in <laughs> concrete. <Yes. laughs> And that's what we've learned today. Yeah. Turns out the flints were the stones we all along the way. <laughs> it, and we all woke up and it was all a bad movie dream watching. Oh no, and then it cuts to them at a movie yeah. theater yeah. watching yeah. the movie yeah. and like... Um, yeah, that's the film. Um, so, does, but is there a cutaway later on? Like, did they put post credit scenes and do they do stuff like that? I didn't see no, that. No, no. You didn't um, say that long enough? I don't think that I was. watched through the credit there was nothing else. So okay. the Dick the Bird doesn't have a happy ending or anything mm. like that? Does it like... Oh, uh, no. Happy? So they... I think they only show it once again where it's talking to the cops. All oh, right, okay. So it's like explaining what's happening. Yeah. I, I think it actually goes through a line through the film. It's like one of the bad guys lines. It's just repeating it. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yes, he's talking okay. to the yeah, cops. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah. Doing that. I think so there's your closure for that character. Yeah. Well, um, they got, if they do a... Okay, we'll talk about spin-offs later. Yeah, 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 yeah no, okay. no, no, no. So Sadly, it's... you know, um, you know, Harvey Corman is no longer with us, uh, but mm. you know, we could easily find someone mm. to be the new... The bird. Yeah. Yep. So yes. So it ends so, with the death of Carl McLaughlin. I can't the, believe I forgot and that. And the discovery of concrete. concrete. Yeah. Woo! And that is. Oh the yeah. Form. And the boss is like, "Look at what you've done!" And he points to this like horrific posed statue of him. And it's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You see, it was a bad guy. He did all this stuff." This is brilliant. Yes, you yeah. mix stone and stuff. You're promoting your thing, but he's like, ah, no promotions. No, that's greed. Yes, and that that was manipulating me mm. as a human being. So I'm not going to take the extra money and a promotion and all that. Instead, I'm going to go back to my old job. Mm. Yeah, because that's uh, where I should be all the time. Yes. If we if we incorporated uh, Joseph Campbell's uh, Hero's Journey twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Would it hold up as well as some other movies? Probably not. No. no. Is he the master of two worlds by the end of it, Fred Flintstone? No. Has no. he? Did he go through the threshold into the special world? Perhaps. Did he face the ordeal? Did he? Yes, he, he faced an ordeal. Did he have a resurrection though? And did um, he come back as he the killed master? the bad guy. So he went greedy and then was not. As not as greedy. greedy. Yeah. Well, he turned shit. down the promotion, so yeah. yes. And he was shit to his friends, and he was kind of yeah. not as shit to his friends. Yes. So yeah. yeah. He didn't know yes. how to learn how to apologize. I'm going to say yeah. yes for this one. Okay, Definite good. yes. Okay. Hard yes. Okay. Um. So we rate the films oldies or goodies. I, I was tempted to give a go worse than an oldie. Really? It's older than an oldie, and to take a stellar cast like that and make it an embarrassment is an achievement so bad that I yeah. believe it is yeah, it's it's worse than an oldie. It's a prehistoric y A prehistoric e prehistoric <laughs> Well it gets a prehistoric from Rob. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. That yeah. is very fair. And now, shame um, on the three point uh, the three ninety eight four one million dollars yeah. members who went to see it. Ooh. And that includes me. Yeah. That includes shame you. on you. I did I, I contributed ten dollars to that. Uh, yeah. to I that. think my dad was running a movie cinema at this point, probably showed it. I blame him as well. Yeah, blame him. Yeah. Yep. 
Everyone involved. Everyone involved. Yeah. This is humanity's greatest mistake. Uh, it's not the worst thing we've done so far, which pains yes. me to say. Uh, it is definitely an oldie from me. Though. Yep. How about you, Zach? Well, oh, here we go. Uh-oh. I've been talking through this <laughs> film so far, and I am ashamed to say that I thoroughly enjoyed it. You are the it... Barney to this Fred. You yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. You are. You are this film's rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, and because I really enjoyed the Fred Flintstones as a show when I was a kid, mm. it was like one of my top. Like, I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are really cool. Fair and it had super creative ideas which fueled my imagination. Mm. So I really loved it. I haven't seen Flintstones in years, eons, centuries. Wow. Uh, That's a long time. That's a very long time. Uh, millions of years, <laughs> almost. Um, yeah, so this reminded me of that. And it brought back the nostalgia. And I love the sort of aesthetic of it. Uh, so I'm giving it an oldie, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, flip it around. Yeah, there no. we go. The good old days uh, it of deserves David an oldie because no one else should really go back and watch. Like, my my scores for this is goody, you should go back and watch it. Oldie, it can be left in the past. Sort yeah, of thing. yeah. This can be it. left in the past. It could also be made way better nowadays. Yeah. I will... Maybe. They could give it a plot. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, it's just that fundamental basic structure of a man going out to work and mm. uh, the woman staying at home. And there's mm. nothing against, you know, yeah, um, yeah. You know, um, housewives no, think, and housekeepers. They, they're you know, raising their children, keeping their house. Well, I think great. that's what you could focus on that. Maybe you can make a play on that and like modernize it. That's the thing. And it's kind of has been modernized with mm. The Simpsons. Yeah. And yes. Family Guy. And all that type of stuff. So it's a case of, you know, yeah, do we update it for nostalgia purposes or just do we... And this is coming from someone who loves yeah. their nostalgia. Or do we just start telling new stories? Yeah. Or do yeah. we focus more on Josie and the Pussycats? Yeah. Yeah, well, these are the important, hard-hitting questions. You know, when it comes to Hanna-Barbera Hanna- Hanna- characters that mm. need a reinvention, yeah. Maybe not the Fred Flintstones, but the same universe modernized maybe mm. after those maybe Look, do... let's start now and in 10 years we can have Hanna Barbera Endgame that's yeah. what I'm saying yes that'd be good yeah. maybe <laughs> you couldn't even say that with a straight face Sandra yeah. um, alright well uh, it's an oldie from us two and a prehistoric from Rob I've yeah. started a trend let's see if it carries yeah. on it won't uh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> much like this movie yeah, yeah. no well you usually pitch like a sequel or a spin-off yeah. to whatever we just watched before talking about the actual sequel yeah, yeah. what yeah what are some of dick the ideas the that you have dick the bird's gotta have a spin-off of his yeah. own yeah I, I i see him as sort of like you know as a consulting <gasps> independent um detective yes. with you know, liaisons yeah. with the with the bedrock uh, police force okay mm. and uh, so he's the, he's like he's like cracker he he breaks mm. the criminals that nobody else can in the interrogation booth, and he okay. like sees things that the other that the cops. Oh can't. yeah, and he could go undercover as like a recording device. He like swaps. No, he out goes undercover bird. in people's houses. So yeah, he's yeah. The one who goes, it's a living. They look at him, and he goes, "Oh man, I hate my job. It's a living." And they're like, "Oh, it's just an appliance," and they move on. Mm. It's like perfect yeah. disguise. No one would suspect. Well, I'm up for that. What, yeah. What's yeah. your spin-off idea? I was thinking about it, and out of all of the crossovers between the the Flintstones and the Jetsons, it's always the Flintstones in the Jetsons universe. Yeah. From mm. everything that I've seen. I'm going to bring the Jetsons to the Flintstones universe. Yeah. That's mm. my That would sequel. be cool. I, just thinking of it, I do want to see a love story between Dino and uh, Astro. That would be cool. Yeah. 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 I like you know, the... torn apart by time. Yeah. Yeah. And how they bring the... It's, it's a sad story. At the oh, end. I can imagine the poster. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just the paws up against... Oh. Yeah. Oh, get your Photoshop skills happening now, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The Jetsons have to go and uh, scope out this uh, this crashed spaceship on this planet, and there are these uh, like eggs on the spaceship that when you put your face over it, uh, they what's a good term? Um, uh, hug their face. Uh, hug the face. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I, I I don't see where you look. If they've this. done, if they've done, Archie <laughs> they could meet, probably do an Archie also a pretty aliens. good prequel for that one that yeah. everyone loves. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jetsons and Flintstones Prometheus. That's yes. gonna be so <laughs> <Yes>. good. <laughs> <laughs> that would that, be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, what's yours, Zach? As I mentioned before, this has to do with the whole test scenario. And in this, Barney doesn't swap the tests. Right. He's just going along. He puts his test away because he's a good boy. You mm. know, he puts his test in. He wouldn't swap or something. That would be 
very evil. Yes. And like dishonest. Mm. Yeah, he wouldn't and even he's look an at, honest man. Mm. Wouldn't even um, look at other people's answers. Yeah, of mm. course. He gets hired, mm -hmm. obviously. Yep. But he immediately catches on to this whole scheme. Yeah. You know, but yeah. figures out how to work it for From his the inside? advantage. Okay, right, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. At first he's like, oh, I could probably get up enough evidence to get them locked in jail and stuff. So he's doing that. But then he gets told, oh, you've got to fire your best friend because mm. he got the lowest score. Of course. But instead what he does is he fires another employee and then just has uh, Fred come in as that employee. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he says, oh, yeah, I fired Fred and all. He finds out, you know, the person he fired, he was also a family man, exactly. just like himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the kid died or some crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, from a nail in his foot. Yeah, yeah. He got a tetanus yeah, yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. Jesus kill Christ. that kid. Yeah, no one, no one has flu Bring shot. Bring on. Yeah, just, just smiles out of control. <laughs> yeah. Start growing evil goaties. Yes. yes, yes. And so then he starts like, wait, then if I had money, I could help people like this. I mm. could run this company. Yeah. And so he starts investing. He gets the original bad guys, you know, they get put in jail and they're like, no, but he's also embezzling and stuff. It's like, ah, they're lying. Mm. But, and then he, of course, becomes the villain. It yeah. is very um, Shakespearean. You've got yeah. all Macbeth. Barney yeah, yeah, very Macbeth. Macbeth. And then the ghost of Fred, or the child comes to the dinner table. It's yeah. like Banquo's ghost. <laughs> yeah. And then it goes through pretty much the end of that story, except he gets encased in concrete. Barney is wow. yes, hoisted um, by it, his own petard. But it also gets super modernized and all workers get fired and that doesn't get resolved. And oh, it's <laughs> super sad. Steam and it's just wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Well, uh, that's not what they did. They Instead, they made a prequel. <laughs> they did, yeah. and I can't find any way out why that was their choice. No. This is one of the lowest m amounts of information on Wikipedia I have ever found. Yeah. There's um, one line of information about the production of yeah. Viva Rock Vegas. That's it. I think it's more like they just wanted to do the Vegas setting mm. and thought, well, we can't have them being older at Vegas. Oh, no, old yeah. people never yeah, go to Vegas. Not. Old people... At no point ever have gone to Vegas and been hilarious oh. at Vegas. And none of the original cast return. The cast for that one, though, look older than they do in this film oh. sometimes. Yes. For some of them. But I think Harvey Corman actually shows up not as the voice of Dick the Bird. He actually uh, is a human character. Oh, okay. Well, that's I have cool. never seen Viva Rock. Yeah, nice. that's cool. Um, it cost him $83 million to make, only made $60 million, and pretty much killed the franchise in its tracks until 2011. When a young Seth MacFarlane was like, I'll make an animated TV show revival of the Flintstones. Mm. And then Fox were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that never happened. And then in 2014, wow. and this project's apparently still in development, Will Ferrell and Adam McKay are working on a script for an animated Flintstones film. Because they did so well with uh, Holmes and Watson, didn't yep. they? Yep. I um, still have not, and will not. No, don't, yeah. don't watch it. Mm. Uh, oh, they've, they've done some good things. They did the new Dead to Me show that's on Netflix at the moment. They wrote oh, that, really? Okay. Uh, yeah. Which is pretty good. So Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that is the episode. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking me through uh, this film that I had blocked out from my memory. Yes. Uh, <laughs> if you liked the show, the best thing you can do is just tell a friend. If you've got a friend who likes movies, just be like, hey, friend, it's a podcast about yeah. Yeah. this sort of stuff. Uh, if you you want to get in touch with the show, we got emails, we got Facebook, we got Instagram, uh, we got Steam mails, or yep. as the better version is snail mail, snail yes. mail, yeah, yep. far superior to Steam mail. You mm -hmm. know one thing we haven't mentioned about this? Sorry, we're doing it right in the middle of the yeah. closing out. The pterodactyl, the massive pterodactyl, oh, yeah. flying around, <laughs> God, that's like and they just everyone runs away, and then it just <laughs> shits on a car. <laughs> that was like, good. Yeah, but nothing came of it. And it's just a gag. I went, you know, it'll be a gag. A massive shit on a car. Because you know what, birds shit on cars, but they don't shit on the entire car. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot yeah. about that entirely. That was good. Oh, that was so dumb. Uh, it was a joke. Let us know the, the one time your car got shat on. But yeah, all the links to those things are in. We will have a link to giant bird shit yep. on, on cars. <laughs> That's right. Uh, do you want to plug, plug your, your stuff. stuff? What's going on? Plug yeah, your bird um, crap. Coming up for me on uh, June 22nd, uh, on Saturday, June 22nd, uh, Mr. David Innes and I of Innes Lloyd fame will be doing our first of our one-off shows for this year, mm -hmm. uh, 2019. We're putting on our 40th birthday celebration of the Muppet movie. Oh, very nice. Oh, all the music that. of John Williams and all the great inspiring puppetry and humor of Jim Henson and his incredible Muppet people. So they'll be on the 20, uh, Saturday the 22nd yep. of June 
at the Butterfly Club, 5.30 in the afternoon. So you can see the show, then go out and have some dinner and get pissed. Yep. Um, and just go to butterflyclub.com to purchase your tickets. Very good. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Good. I have that on VHS. Yeah. Oh, yes. old school. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was I have. Of, I have that, and I've watched it many times on that old, VHS. That's one so of, there you go. One of my I love VHSs. it. It's yeah. so great. It's, it's good. One of the best films ever. So good. Yeah. Um. All right, Zach. It's your choice for next episode. Yep. You are choosing between two movies. <gasps> uh, one of them is called The Cowboy Way. No. It's an action Pass. comedy. With Woody Harrelson and Keith Sutherland and their cowboys. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I never saw it, but I remember that. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're done with cowboys. We've done yeah. like two <laughs> cowboy movies and they were complete toss. Moving on. All right. The other one is Renaissance so- Man. Danny DeVito is just yes. a classic guy. Yes. And he goes to an army base to teach Mark Wahlberg. Oh boy. Yes. It's apparently two and a half hours long. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Is that... Was it, is it called Renaissance Man, or did it have a different title here in a, in Australia? And I think well, it, I could have had a different title. Maybe. Yeah, where he teaches Shakespeare to um, to army cadets, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it was called Renaissance Man in the states, but here it was called um, Army Intelligence. Yes, in Australia, ah. in Australia, it went by the title known as Army. Is it only in Australia? Only in Australia. Interesting. Wow. Yes, in Australia, That's it was crazy. called Army Intelligence. Okay, maybe people thought. Renaissance man, that's a weird long word. That's not going to work here in Australia. Oh, nah. I don't it's, know what that even means. Because it's a film about he takes a job trying to teach English and Shakespeare to. Yeah. So it's kind of like in the spirit of Dead uh, Dead Poet Society type thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ebert gave it uh, a thumbs down. Oh. Roger Ebert. This is something Lying. we do. We, this is something we do in Innes Lloyd. I'm sorry. We have uh, Roger Ebert gave it a thumbs down, but Gene Siskel, who's mm-hmm. our nemesis, Siskel. <laughs> Enjoyed it. He thought it was a pleasant fair and gave it a thumb up. Okay, oh, so there you Cisco. go. Nice. Yeah, we'll there you see go. how correct or incorrect he is. We always end with our favourite quote from the movie though that we just watched. I'm oh, using okay. a quote from the main character. Okay. Oh, Boy, Barney Rubble. Who in was... in this cave? I am King. Ah, <laughs> ah, which sums lot... up this film entirely oh, of the God. whole household. Oh my God. Uh, that's funny because you know, woman will do whatever I say. Will you do this? Yes, my love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say, I should have signed to Disney. They never would have allowed this to happen. <laughs> and then Rob gets the final one. I made bugs, but I have feelings, and you hurt them. <laughs> All right, oh. see ya. See ya.